Now in part C, we're asked to find E of X. In other words, the expected value of the random variable X. And we're going to need the table, so I've left the table that we got from part A up here. Now, how do you work out E of X? We well, should know that it is the sum of the observed values multiplied by their corresponding probabilities. So in other words, for this question, it will be 1, the observed value here, 1 multiplied by its associated probability. So it will be 1 times 1 over 36. And then we have to add it to the second observed value, 2, multiplied by its associated probability, which is 3 over 36. And we carry on doing this on each of the observed values, so that'd be 3 times 5 over 36 plus 4 times 7 over 36 plus 5 times 9 over 36. A bit tedious, but uh, I would suggest you do this anyway. Show the examiner you're working, okay? Get on the calculator, work this out, and what you should find you get is 161 over 36. Don't turn this to a decimal. If you read the question, it said find the exact value. So keep it as a fraction like that. Just a tip, when you work this out on a calculator, you don't necessarily have to type in absolutely every fraction. When I did it, all I did was just be, multiply all the top numbers together and add them and then just put it all over 36 in one go. So that made it a lot easier, quicker on the calculator to do. Alright, so that brings us to the end of part C. Now in part D we're asked to find the variance of X, V-A-R-X, okay? So how do we find the variance of X? Some of you may know the formula which is often quoted as e of x squared minus e of x all squared. But what is e of x squared? Well e of x squared is defined as the sum of the observed values squared multiplied by their associated probabilities. And then we have minus e of x squared which is the quantity that we worked out here. So I'll just put in minus e of x all squared. So we need to work this out then. So we've got to take 1 squared first of all, multiply by 136. So we put that in as 1 squared times 1 over 36. I'll keep this small, OK, because we've got to squeeze this in along here. And then we have to add 2 squared times 336. So that's 2 squared times 3 over 36 plus and then 3 squared times 5 over 36 and so on plus 4 squared times 7 over 36 hope I'm going to make this to the end okay 5 squared times 9 over 36 plus 6 squared times 11 over 36 I can just squeeze that in minus now the mean or expected value of x all squared. So that was 161, 161 over 36 and that is all squared. And again just work that out on the calculator only this time we had to show that it was 1.97 to 3 significant figures. If you do that on a calculator you actually get 1.9714 and so on, which indeed is 1.97 to 3 significant figures, 3SF for short. Alright, now we don't need the table anymore for the next part because in the next part, E, we're asked to find the variance of th 2 times minus 3x, okay? Now just give you a little background on this, okay, just in case you are struggling with this one. What you should know is that, uh, we'll just do it over here, what you should know is that if you have the variance, okay, 
of a constant plus or minus another constant times a random variable, which I'll just say is of the form a minus bx. Okay, this could actually be a plus here, it doesn't really matter. You get the same result, and that is that this is equal to the variance of a, so put var a, plus the variance of bx, variance of bx, just squeeze that in there. Okay, and this equals, well, the variance of a constant is always zero. So then we have the variance then of a constant times our random variable. Now when you have a situation like this, whatever this constant is, okay, you bring it out the front and it becomes b squared times the variance of your random variable x. So this is the result I'm going to use in this question here. Okay, so what this boils down to essentially is that it is 3 squared multiplied by the variance of x. And we've already got the variance of x. Make sure you take the unrounded value, so that is 1.9714 and so on. And that is multiplied by the 3 squared, in other words, 9. Working that out, okay, you find that you get 17.7430 and so on. And rounding that to, say, three significant figures would be 17.7 to 3SF. And that brings us to the end of this question.